I feel it's important to also mention that there have been some developments recently, um, and actually developments that have been going on for a long time, but more recently with much, much more success uh, in the area of automated writing evaluation. Uh, that is really a different set of tools um, other than just grammar checkers or spell checkers, you know, in, in addition to obviously catching problems that have to do with mechanics, such as spelling errors, or with some grammar items, you know, subject verb agreements, missing articles, round sentences, and so on. Um, these tools provide a richer set of feedback to writers that go beyond mechanics and grammar, but also look at organization or provide feedback on organization, on the absence or presence of a thesis statement, or whether or not the topic sentence is used. So they provide a lot of help um, to beginning writers. Well, not only beginning writers, but also advanced writers, really. Um, so what I'll do is, um, as part of this, this week's um, activities, you'll be able to take a look at some of these tools. Now, you can read about these tools. It's more difficult to try them out because they're all not for free. So, But you'll be able to look at them um, and find out more about them. And then, you know, if you have the resources, if it's possible to, to get a trial version, uh, you can certainly do that. I would like to summarize suggestions for using AWE tools in the classroom. These stem from a recent journal article my colleagues and I published. The reference is available in the transcripts. The highlights I want to mention are the following. First, using AWE tools or other tools that provide consistent feedback may impact students' writing practices. Students often write their assignments the night before and then submit it, and they will often not take a second look at it. When ongoing and immediate feedback is available, it may be possible to encourage students to go beyond this once-and-done approach to writing and engage in active planning, drafting, revising, and editing processes. This could have transformed their approach to writing. Second, AWE tools have an impact on linguistic accuracy. We have also found that AWE correcting feedback systems may really improve linguistic accuracy. That means that students who use such tools become better and more accurate writers. Third, teachers continue to play a significant role. The last point I'd like to make is that, which is really true of all the tools that I've experimented with in the classroom, is that instructors' use and perception of the utility of these tools is key in getting students engaged in trying these tools out and seeing the value and the shortcomings of these tools. Last but not least, I would like to mention at least some of the more popular automated writing evaluation tools that are available on a commercial basis. The transcript contains links to these tools as well. Turnitin is a product that is used quite a bit at U.S. universities, especially in first-year writing programs. A component within the Turnitin application that is particularly relevant for writers is called Revision Assistant. Turnitin also provides so-called plagiarism checking services. This is a service that checks to see if the paper student submitted was written by the student and not merely copied from another source. With so many papers being available on the internet, it is becoming increasingly more difficult to verify that students submit their own work and that they give appropriate credit to the sources they use as a complete papers. Another tool that I have used and that we have used here at Iowa State for a number of years is called Criterion, which is a product produced by the Educational Testing Service, or ETS, and we used it for several years and were quite happy with it. The last product I'd like to mention at least is called uh, My Writing Lab, which is produced by Pearson. I will have links for you in the course so you can take a look at them and read more about them. Please keep in mind that there are other products as well, but I cannot list all of them in this short segment. Many teachers today are using Google Docs for collaborative writing activities. Sukwon Fung will describe how teachers can use Google Docs to create a space where students like to collaborate.